Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you from my car because I just got my hair done. It was in desperate need of a refresh. I not only needed the top done, just a little bit of a blended out root touch up, but I also really needed the ends cut. They were so dead. It looks so fresh, so good. Savannah at Habit Salon always does such a great job. I love her. But right now it's like 1030 and it's actually early enough that I really want to go to the Gilbert Farmer's Market. It's on the way home. I really need a new loaf of sourdough bread. I tried getting the sourdough at Trader Joe's last time to save a little bit of money, but it just genuinely was not as good as this local bread company here in Phoenix. It's called Noble Bread and they truly just have the best sourdough ever. It's like $8 for a loaf of bread, but it's so good and so worth it. I just keep it in the freezer to keep it fresh. I also yawned like seven times while getting my hair done. I was very sleepy and I hit snooze like three times this morning. I definitely woke up late. So I think we're gonna hit up Dutch Bros and get an energy drink as well because because I need some caffeine in me. Oh, my hair just looks so good. I'm so excited. Today's gonna be a great day. Here's a little bit of a closer look at how the wreaths look. I also love how they curl my hair. I feel like it just looks so much better than when I do it myself. Does anyone else have to turn off what they're listening to in very stressful parking situations? It is so insanely busy in downtown Gilbert right now. I knew the farmer's market would be busy, but like the rest of downtown is also really busy. I guess it is almost 11 a.m. So it's like lunchtime on a Saturday, but it's insane right now. And I had to be one of those bold people that straight up followed someone to their car and waited for them to pull away or else I would not get a spot. I'm pretty proud of myself for being that bold. It's not usually a thing that I would do. to get home there was so much traffic because they closed an insane amount of the freeway i think they're doing construction on it or something but it was extremely backed up it took me at least three times longer to get home than it should have so that's annoying but it's already past 12 and i'm ready for lunch so i think we're gonna make a nice balanced meal of a big salad and a leftover <laughs> slice of pizza from this restaurant that colin and i went to there's just one slice left over so i'm gonna mix it with this salad but i'm also gonna do some chicken sauce to get some protein in there. This is the garlic and herb one from Trader Joe's. I love this one. I feel like Trader Joe's has really good options for chicken sausages lately. I just like them a lot better than the options at Walmart. I feel like the Walmart ones are very slim pickings. And the macros are really good on these. It's 130 calories for one link, 17 grams of protein, and seven grams of fat. So I am going to put this together. I also almost finished my energy drink on the way home and if you know me you know that i'm a slow sipper when it comes to drinks like this so the fact that i'm almost done just shows how long it took me to get home <laughs> patio it's another gorgeous sunny day in arizona although it started out very cold this morning it was like 40 degrees when i left this morning but now it's like 65 i haven't charged my macros yet for this meal but i did for my breakfast this morning i made pancakes i used the new snickerdoodle protein powder from one up nutrition it's one of the new limited edition flavors and it was so good at making pancakes the pancakes genuinely tasted like a snickerdoodle cookie they were so good and i think the protein powder even has has like tiny little snickerdoodle cookie bits in it. I still need to make those muffins that I said I was gonna make. I have been looking up recipes to just kind of like go off of and then I was gonna make it my own but I couldn't find anything that like didn't have three different types of flour and stuff like that. And I just want them to be super simple because the pancakes I made this morning, I truly just added protein powder to a pancake mix, added in chocolate chips and bananas, and there you go, four ingredient breakfast. I just like things super easy like that. But this salad looks delicious. I don't always add cheese to my salads, but Parmesan sounded really good with the balsamic dressing that I made. And now I just get to enjoy the beautiful outdoors. Maybe I'll do a little bit of reading this afternoon. I'm gonna FaceTime my sister in a little bit. So it's definitely going to a fly 
drive by today. But I already started the morning with a high protein packed breakfast and now I'm getting in my greens so I feel really good about my nutrition today. And obviously life is all about balance so we have our slice of pizza as well. During the weekdays I'm pretty good at sticking to my macros but it definitely gets a little bit more challenging on the weekends. It's easier on the weekdays because my routine is much more structured. I have to eat at certain times or else I won't be able to eat at all usually versus the weekends when I'm always doing something different and my schedule is much more free flowing so I don't necessarily eat at scheduled times and that completely messes up my hunger cues, what I'm eating, where I'm eating. So today when I came home and just had lunch right now I wasn't absolutely starving but I feel like that was the perfect time for me to eat lunch because it was about 12 30 which is when I would normally eat lunch anyways on the weekdays so I'm sticking to my routine and I'm eating before I'm starving because if you wait until you're starving then you're gonna be ravenous and eat anything in front of you so now I feel perfectly content and I'm also sticking to my macros for the day again it's been a little while but I just pulled up at the mall because I have a return that I need to do at H&M and I also have an online pickup order at Abercrombie that I want to get and I also figure while we're here I might as well do a little bit of perusing as well I think I'll look around H&M maybe forever 21 just a regular Saturday afternoon at the mall it's super busy I had to park pretty far away so we have a little bit of walking to do <laughs> Home from the mall and I did get quite a few things so we're gonna have to do a haul but first I need to make dinner because I'm starving and it's already past six o'clock this is late for me so we need to get started I already started the rice in the rice cooker before I even started this clip just to get it going because I'm so hungry tonight I am going to do a teriyaki steak bowl so I am marinating this steak while the rice cooks for a little bit and then I'll throw it on the cast iron pan this is everything that I put on the steak if you want to recreate this this is my favorite way to marinate a steak. We're also going to put some sushi ginger on there. I think sushi ginger is so good on little bowls like this. And for our vegetable, I already have leftover bell peppers that I made the other day just to meal prep in the fridge. So it'd be easy for something like this. Either on my oatmeal or on my rice cake. I did some little tomatoes. You can never go wrong with the protein, carb, and veggie combo. It just works out every time. I've got some teriyaki sauce, got that pickled ginger, sprinkled it with some sesame seeds. All right, so I did a little bit of a thing. I got crumble cookies. I wanted to surprise Colin when he gets home from work, which should be like in 10 minutes from now because we talked about getting crumbled this week because the flavors were so good, but then we didn't end up doing it. And tonight is Saturday, so it's obviously the last day that we can get this week's flavor so I wanted to surprise him by getting them. All right, a little cookie tour. This one is mint chip ice cream, pink donut, maple bacon. I'm so excited to try this. And then a classic like brownie one. I know that Colin wants the pink donut and the brownie one and I wanted the maple and the chocolate chip. So it worked out perfectly. Also on a very random note, I got this new candle from Bath and Body Works. This is the scent Cozy Linen and Nectar. It smells so like light and fresh. So I'm gonna light a new candle. I'll have cookies cookies ready. We're going to watch The Bachelor. It's going to be a great night. I'm so excited, but I end the vlog off here for tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. I was just about to start getting dressed and ready for the day, but then I realized I didn't do my haul yet. So let's do a haul because I might wear one of these new pieces that I got yesterday. First up is Aerie. I got this really cute, just like plain basic white tank top. I know it seems super plain, 
but you're not going to be able to tell on camera but it's actually like a velvety type texture which i think is super cool and what i really loved about this top is tops like this are really hard to wear a bra with you have to wear a strapless i do not like to free the girls and i hate putting on strapless bras because there's so much work and they're just like not the most comfortable so this shirt actually has a like a built-in layer it's a little built-in bra so i thought that is perfect i can wear this without a bra so i love this i think i might wear this to <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I went back and forth about this, but I actually think I'm already gonna return it, but I'll still show it to you anyways. I did get this pretty cute swimsuit. It is a really nice brown color, which is what I was looking for. It is cute, but I think I found a different option later in the day online that I like a little bit better, and I don't need to go about buying a billion different swimsuits. This is what the bottom looks like. So I do think it's really cute, and it was a really good price, but I do think I found something that I like a little bit more, so I think I'll return this and show you guys what I end up getting next time. So I said that I had that return to do at H&M, but of course I had to peruse and maybe get something else. And I did in fact find something that I liked. I got these linen pants. I am so excited. I've been wanting linen pants for the longest time now. I did try these on in the dressing room. I tried on the medium and it was tight in the hips, but then loose in the legs and the waist, which of course is just the problem that I always have with all pants. So I did kind of take a gamble and I got the size up. I got a size large. I'm hoping that it'll fit in the hips better and then I can just cinch the waist and it'll look good. I didn't feel like going to the dressing room a second time because that's just too much of a hassle for me. And these were also a really good price. They were under 30 bucks. And then finally from Abercrombie, they had a few things on sale. So I did pick something extra up that was not part of my online order. It's this cute little ribbed tank top. I was also thinking about wearing this today. Okay, here's the thing. Here's my toxic tray. I always go to the store saying I need more winter-esque items. I only have tank tops and I need more long sleeves and sweaters and such for the winter time because when it gets cold in Arizona, I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have any clothes for this weather. So I went to the store with that in mind and what do I do? I buy two tank tops. No long sleeves. You know what? I like what I like and that's just what it is. Last item is the item that I ordered online from Abercrombie when they were having another sale. This is actually an exchange. I returned the size bigger because I tried them on and they were just too big. So I ordered a size medium and I hope that these fit nicely. I need to try them on still. Just some plain white linen shorts. As you can tell, I'm really into the linen vibe. I just think it will go well with all of the different tank tops that I have in my closet for the summer. And that's everything that I got other than the swimsuit that I'm probably returning. I feel really good about everything that I got. I was very reasonable. There were tons of other things that I could have gotten, but I kept it simple. <music> Time has come to do some Sunday reset activities. I'm gonna meal prep some breakfast sandwiches like I've done a million times on YouTube before. You guys already know it's one of my favorite breakfast go-tos. I am one of those people that is a creature of habit and I can eat variations or pretty much the exact same thing pretty often. And breakfast sandwiches are one of those things that I just never get tired of. I feel like it incorporates almost everything that I'm trying to get in in the morning and incorporates a little bit of carbs, some protein from the sausage and eggs. And then I always serve it with the side fruit and that's the perfect breakfast for me and it keeps me full until lunchtime. Sometimes I do like to make a breakfast from scratch but other mornings when I'm running a little bit late I love that I don't have to worry about making breakfast and I have a breakfast sandwich ready to go in the freezer. I just pop it in the microwave for about two minutes and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna make those right now. It's about four o'clock and I do want to get those done before it's a little bit later in the evening and I'm no longer in the mood to do them. These are all the ingredients. I do one egg and a little bit of egg whites per breakfast sandwich and then I've got some white cheddar. These are my new favorite sausage patties that I use, the maple flavored chicken sausage from Great Value. You can find it in Walmart's freezer section near like the healthy stuff. And then just plain bagel thins and this makes the perfect breakfast sandwich.
it's the end of the night i'm about to climb into bed but tomorrow i'm gonna go to my new gym again it's actually gonna be the first monday that i've ever gone to this gym before so we'll see how busy it is and i think i'll take you guys along just for a little bit i don't want to film too much still just because i'm still really new to the gym i'm figuring out where everything is so when i have a certain exercise in mind it does take me a minute to find that item in the gym but i know it's there i just have to look for it a little bit it's just been so fun having something different in my routine even if it's only been one week so far of going to this gym i'm already like so much happier if you guys have been feeling stagnant in your routine lately i highly encourage you to switch something up in a little bit more of a major way and for me that happened to be switching gyms entirely and it's been great for my mental health so far i do need to start waking up like five to ten minutes earlier though i don't think i've really done that the past two times and i have been running just like a smidge behind in the morning because it is a little bit of a further drive to this gym but not by much but i'll see you guys in the morning at my new gym I am warming up one of my breakfast sandwiches like I prepped yesterday. I was just saying on my Instagram how if you are going into this week a little bit stressed, a little bit unmotivated, let's set a challenge for ourselves to bump up that motivation a little bit. And that challenge is change one thing in your routine. Something small, something manageable that you can keep up with throughout the week and you're not going to fall off of. Make it so easy that it's virtually impossible. And so this week I am going to take a kickstart wellness shot every day this week. I've taken this before. This one's from One Up Nutrition. It's the new blood orange flavor and I just tried it. It's really good. But I've fallen off of taking this lately and I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to take it consistently for seven days. You don't have to do this exactly. You could drink a cup of tea before bed. You could journal for five minutes. You could sit outside for one meal, whatever it is. Just change one thing that is manageable and easy that you can keep up with. I think that switching up parts of our routine is really important to stay motivated and stay excited about going into the week. I am a big routine girl. I do virtually the exact same things every day. I even eat the same meals, but something little like this is just a little bit different enough that I am excited to wake up in the morning and make this little juice shot. So if you're up for the challenge, comment down below what thing you are adding to your routine or changing in your routine this week. I need to eat my breakfast. I think the sandwich is finally cool enough that I can eat it, but I am going to end this video off here because I am about to finish getting ready for work and start my work week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Ooh.